Hey there, viewers. It is now time for what you have all been waiting for, the announcement of a brand new game to LP. What is going to be filling up my Wednesday nights? Well, this is actually a game that I've been waiting to do since about late, no uh, what was it, late November, something like that. I put it on my Gamefly list back in November, expecting to do it back then after I finished with Adventures of Darwin. Well, Gamefly kind of was screwy and very slow with the game. Now, for those of you who do not know how Gamefly works, typically, if you have a game number one in your list, they will do whatever they can to send you that game. If they can't, they'll send you number two in your list. Now, if you don't have a number two, then they'll try even harder to send you number one on your list. Well, for an entire month, I had zero games as my number two or below. I only had this one game listed as number one. So they should have sent me out the game within maybe a few days, a week, maybe two weeks the most. An entire month went by, they did not send me this game. Needless to say, pissed me off because I was really excited about doing LP about this thing. And uh, I just ended up giving up and then renting Little King Story and Tokobot and these other games that I eventually did LPs of back in January. But I've always wanted to do this game, and until just recently, Gamefly has not sent it out. And how many months has it been? November, December, January, February, March, April, almost in April. Five and a half months I've been waiting for this game, and they finally send it out. And the weird thing about it is that there aren't many LPs of this on YouTube, which is actually surprising. But regardless, it is now time to finally start up Fairy Tale Fights. And for anyone who's actually familiar with the game, I have already gotten the DLC for the game. So I have the four extra characters. I got Grandma Red, Little Red Riding Hood's Grandma. I got Puss in Boots. I got Bones. I gotta do the update real quick. And I also have uh, Princess Afia, whoever she is. Now before I actually start this game up, I think it should be known, first and foremost, this is a violent game. Uh, let me let me reiterate that real quick for you. This is a violent game. See? It already starts out bloody. So here we go, fairy tale fights. You will not find a bloodier fairy tale game. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Of Scarface. Okay, welcome to Telville. Go to one of the purple bounding books to open a menu or press the start button to activate the quick menu. If you want to start a quest or a battle, please visit the latest purple book on your left at the end. And remember, no fighting is allowed inside the village. Whatever you do outside is entirely up to you and your twisted little mind. Now, something that should be noted is that in one of the earlier trailers to the game, it was more along the lines of a Corn flick, starring Ron Jeremy as a naked, naked emperor. So, there's a little backstory for him. Let's try and learn the controls real quick. Yes, that's my gamer tag. Um, <laughs> odds are now I'm gonna get a ton of invites, just like I did for Dark or somehow. But uh, now there's a purple book. I guess that's the story mode. So I want to explore the area real quick. So much for no violence inside the village. Be chopping up bunny rabbits. Now, can we swim? Yes, we can. I know some games frown upon that. Come on, hook me. No, you can't. Let's see. Where exactly are we going? I guess that's just the battle modes. I think we can leave the village. We can get unstuck. The horses have trapped us. No, we can't really leave the village. Too bad. And we cannot visit three little pigs. So I guess we'll start off with going here. Select a mode. Quest mode or arena mode. No, we want to do story mode. So not those. What's this up here? I guess that's that one uh, mirror mirror on the wall. Okay, a little bit more exploring real quick. And we cannot visit the fishermen, sadly. But what about this book right here? Total kills, enemies, innocence players, quest players, arena players, biggest combo, deadliest combo, enemy types, bloodshed, kill per attack type, and all this other stuff. Still trying to find story mode. Maybe this is it. Upgrade your statue. Oh no, that's kind of cool. And progression. Well, give me a weapon, I'll carve my own statue. Okay, carpenter, musician, and observatory. So I'm guessing for the most part we actually get to build up this village. That's kind of cool. Gonna look forward to that. Okay, choose an insign insignificant character. Red Riding Hood, Naked Emperor, Snow White, Beanstalk Jack, and here are the bonus characters. Bones, the skeleton. No clue what fairy tale he's from. Grandma Red, Little Red Riding Hood's grandma. Princess Afia, 
who has some ugly teeth. Wow. And Puss in Boots. Nothing like Shrek. That is definitely not Antonio Banderas. But we're gonna play as him anyways. Because we all love little Puss in Boots. Is that him again? We cloned ourselves. Awesome. And I'm still trying to find the damn story mode. This village is actually pretty big. And here are all of our weapons. Nice. So I guess when we run low, we can actually come back here and grab some new ones. 